Hey, folks, Tanker Man here. How y'all doing? Well, I'm going to do me a little solo ride out here at campground by myself. Ain't nobody wants to play, play with me no more, I guess. <laughs> KTM is my campsite. The wife and uh, Justin and his family will be out a little later on. There's my new 2018 Dodge Ram 2500. It's a gas burner. But uh, it's a nice campground over here. Uh, we're at Forest Hill. Uh, the uh, only problem about over here, you ain't got no hookups whatsoever, so. You have to have air generators or tough it out and lose your heat. That's kind of difficult to do there. So we have generators. I love that uh, Dodge. Never thought I'd say that about Dodge, but I love it. Love my Puma too. That toy hauler is a good one. We've thoroughly enjoyed it. Had it a year now. Well, a little over a year. But, uh, this is our general rare. Honda. It's fuel injected. It's a 7,000. Uh, a lot of people, well, why did you buy such a big general rare? Well, the price difference wasn't that much more to go ahead and get a bigger one. And, uh, this way here we got one if electricity goes out because of hurricane, freeze, or whatever. We got a generator we can uh, plug up to the house. But as you can tell, it's running. It's super quiet. It's one of them, uh, what they call inverter generators. Hear how quiet this generator is? Now some people you know, come out to campground and they have them uh them old uh, construction type generators and uh man when one of them sets up next to you really you ain't in for a good night's sleep because you can't hear yourself think. This one here, you we talk normal voice on the other side of camper, never even hear it. Um Justin, he usually sets up right over here. Of course, his big Taj Mahal fifth wheel has generator inside of it. So it, uh, it's super quiet inverter generator also. But with this Honda 7000, uh, it holds five ga gallons of gas. Five gallons of gas will last me uh, roughly around 20 hours. And that's run that air conditioner full speed. Refrigerator, we could have put my refrigerator on electric. I got plenty of power, so why not? No sense using up the propane. But uh, this is back of the Puma Unleash. Look at here, new sticker. Yeah, y'all want a new sticker? Y'all send me an address and I'll see what I can do about hooking you up. But, um, but I highly recommend that uh, Honda generator. It's electric start. Yeah, I mean, we ain't had a liquor problem. I change oil in, uh, just about every time we go camping, you know, or every other time. Uh, but it's plenty of powerful for this. I mean, it's way overrated for what we got here. But like I said, I priced difference. And I was like, hey, spend a uh, uh, few hundred dollars, I think it was, $500. And I got one big enough to pretty much run the house. So <laughs> kill two birds with one stone. But uh, yeah, this Puma, it, it's we really have enjoyed it. Uh, we've um, um, in a few weeks we're going to go on a road trip with it 
and uh, take you in the Dodge up to Tennessee. Yep. I'm going to load the XR650 in it and uh, we going up there to Tennessee. First time me and my wife has ever been on an actual vacation. But uh, we're going to have a good time. As you can tell, my old Home Depot fan makes more racket than the generator. But uh, this is the Loran Campground. I looks like we're going to have it to ourselves pretty much. I like that. Well, take your man out. Y'all stay safe.